Hey guys, welcome back, and we're now playing Universe Sandbox. It's been a long time since we've played this game. No, that is way too loud. Okay, so it seems so since it's been a long time, there's been a lot of updates. I've been checking out on the game like each and a few months to see what was happening, and I was met with this gravity simulation upgrade 33. So. So a gravity simulation. So we're now learning about simulation speed. Advanced simulation speed controls. The target simulation speed is how fast the simulation will try to run. The simulation speed in the toolbar shows how fast the simulation is actually running. But sometimes the simulation can't run as the fast as fast as the target simulation speed. Next. So let's open this. Times 10. There we go. So let's select sim and expand. Balanced. Accurate. Okay. Now try to. Okay, performance. Well, that's a lot of speed. All right, accuracy profile, off. Um. <laughs> okay, next, next. Advanced, right, finish. Okay, I was thinking of making my new solar system with the couple few updates they added. So that's new empty simulation. There we go. I also forgot about this. Now there was like the background. I forgot about this. So let's pick. Oh. Wait a minute. Let's pick one of the Milky Ways. There we go. Milky Way. Okay. Now we just need some planets. Okay, this time I'm actually going to name the planets rather than just leave them by their actual names. But firstly, obviously we need to have a star. Okay, Earth is definitely not going to be our star. Okay. Some of these would do. Maybe something, I keep doing red star systems. Maybe some sort of towards orange, something like this. Something like the sun or any of these. What's Alf Tayu? Aegol. Okay, let's use Aegol. Whoa, whoa, those are very br those are very big sunspots in there. Okay, let's name Aegol because we do not just want to use um, real information. Hmm. What do I want to call it? I'm just thinking of... Let's just call it... Actually, I don't know. Let's call it Jun. That was the first thing I was thinking of. Okay. Oh, we need a capital, capital, capital letter, obviously. Okay, Jun. I don't even, I don't know why I decided to call it John. So there's the name John. Okay, now that, now we just need, um, I kind of forgot some stuff. Habitable, yes, habitable. So John is this, so this, so the green one's the habitable zone. Earth is usually between um, the blue and green. Mercury and Venus are close to the red. And yes, all the other pla outer planets are outside of the blue. So blue is least habitable. So let's place a planet there. Let's get, let's get a randomizer. Where's the randomizer? Random rocky planets. Resicu. Okay, let's put it in the blue area. Uh, close to green, almost like Earth's orbit, but a little bit further out. So let's get to race coup. 
So what does it look like? How can we make this habitable? Oh, it looks like it, it, it looks like Uranus because it turns on its side. Not, not, but not perfectly, but still turns on its side. Now, I don't feel like giving this moon, but let's check it and see how we can make, oh, this has no water. I mean, Earth has a little bit of water inside it, so. Oh my god. Let's add a little bit of water. 0.00001%. Yeah, that sounds great. Can we see the water? No. Okay, now we just need to make this like off. Atmosphere mass. Earth's atmosphere mass. Let's make it a little bit like Mars, actually. I don't want to make it too habitable. So, 0 0.5. Enter. Hmm. Now it's a little bit in the habitable zone. I didn't mean to make that. Okay. Surface pressure. PA. I heard that it was like... Let's make it 12. Hopefully, this is this really um, habitable? Let's check if it's habitable. Okay, Earth's in, like lifehood. Um, so maybe some insects can live on here. Maybe some insects can live in here. So I made it so that only insects can live on here. Let's make it so that actual animals can live on here. So it seems like 12 is not enough. Actually, no, we need more atmosphere, of course. Atmosphere is how, is how people bleed, uh, not bleed, breathe. Okay, so not that, 0 0.5. That's what I said earlier, didn't I? It's starting to look some sort of whitish color around here. That was not whitish. Now right, let's see if, okay. I'm assuming animals can live on here now. So Resiku, should we rename it? It's hard to think of names. Yeah, let's just leave it how it is. Let's just leave it how it is. I'm gonna name a different planet. Okay, now we need a moon. I know that I said I didn't want a moon earlier, but now I do. A random small moon, because this seems like a small planet. Oh my god, the grid's moving so fast. So, now I know, this is moving like, this is moving a thousand meters per second. Right, Orsol. Okay, the planet is tilting on its side, so I want to get the moon to start on this side, and, and like that. Let's check what it's like on Orsol. Orsol doesn't look like a moon, it just looks like one of those small moons. Of course, I chose a small moon. Now, is there anything we can change it to not look as boring as this? Is there anything we can change? Okay, let's check it. So it's originally going to look more boring, but at least it has the color. I wonder where I got the color from. So Orsol is meant to be Oh my god, that's meant to be way closer. Is there anything we can change to make a little bit of habitability on here? So, like that. Okay, let's add it, let's give it, let's give it some surface pressure. How about 13? Still zero, let's give it a little bit of atmosphere. Oh, it gained atmosphere automatically. I didn't even put that there. That was zero when I left it, right? Still no. Well, I can barely see the atmosphere. Okay, so and Mars. Let's change this to be a little bit higher. 1135. Let's check. Still zero, we need a little bit more atmosphere. 
zero point one. I can actually see the atmosphere. I think this is too much. The atmosphere is covering most of the surface. Let's see the surface pressure. Oh my God, this is too much. 96, how about that? I can still barely see the atmosphere. I can see the wave of colors. If you can closely look, there's a wave of colors there. Let's see if it's... Maybe it needs water. Maybe it needs water because everything needs water. Oh my God. God, it just lost all of the water immediately. Maybe it's too hot. Oh my God, it loses it lose some, it lose some pressure. 0 0.01, let's try that. I can barely see the atmosphere. Now let's give it some water. It keeps losing it and, and it's bringing the atmosphere with it as well. So that's bad. It's losing, it's gaining some pressure, okay? Let's just leave it like this. Maybe, maybe life would soon form on here. Weathering, we, we strike it with, it, we strike this plant with an asteroid and it goes flying closer, closer to where Orsul's uh, habitable orbit is. Okay. Um, so, let's add some Let's add some more planets. Another one. I haven't really played this game in a while. I need to get used to this. Let me put this near Razuku orbit. Around 0 0.16 AU. Can you actually, is this too close? If you can see it, then it's too close. If you can barely see it, then it's far enough. Okay. Oh my god, this is almost like a Martian planet. Well, to be fair, I did put it in the blue area. Okay, this doesn't really need life on it. I only need, like, water on this planet. Oh, I know. I, now I know why the moon couldn't hold all the water. It's because it had, didn't have enough gravity. All the water is now in space. Let's slowly add some water. Whoa, that is a lot of water. Let's decrease the water. This looks like a planet you should, this looks like a planet you can, you're able to live on. Actually no, let's decrease the water. Um, what do I do? I'd slowly add water so that these puddles can... Yep, there we go. This should be enough. Let's quickly give this an atmosphere. Maybe Mars and 0 0.2. Oh my god, it's a little bit hot in, this year, in these areas. So it's reaching an area where... It's reaching, it's reaching an area where life is suitable. It's getting 95, that. There we go, we got, we got, we got some, we got some life on this planet. Oh yeah. Let's call this, um, let's call this, an asteroid yes i yes there's not enough chaos in the system already isn't there all right let's add some chaos random asteroid let's aim um 
Let's aim at Tai Moon. All right, let's see where this asteroid's gonna land. Narioid. All right. All right, let's see what's gonna happen. As if there's not enough chaos in the system already. I need to add chaos. Oh, it's actually getting closer to this planet rather than the one I was fortunately going for. Or is it gonna gain speed from this planet and it's going to attack? This is a flyby almost. I mean, look how close it is to this. Is it gonna get caught in an orbit or something or is it gonna get flung away by its gravity? It's somehow getting closer to it. It's getting closer. Okay, it just got a lot closer. Oh. Did its gravity capture it? Yeah, I think its gravity captured it. Is it going away into space or is it still technically... Let's check in on the orbits. Oh yeah, it is orbiting it. This orbit's becoming big. Oh, it's, it's now around the sun. So it still intersects Nariel's orbit. So now let's attack the Thai moon. Let's launch it. Um, what happened? Let's, let's launch an asteroid with some water on it. Hopefully the water lands on there. Did I launch the moon? Let's add, let's add, um, not too much. Let's add, um, 30, 30.5 and water. Oh, all the water is deep and stored in there. And hydrogen. Oh my god! It got completely obliterated. Look at... It was a head-on collision. Did that change anything? Is there... Is there hydrogen on here? Yeah, some of the hydrogen transferred on here. Look at all the fragments. All this fragment is going to land on these as well because it's going at a large pace. Huh. Okay, now let's add, now let's add um, something that could be, um, let's add something close to here. Maybe it's gonna crash into here. Actually, now let's add it at time moon. Something that makes it crash and all the insects go flying. Is it still livable? Oh, it's more livable. It's more livable than before, actually. Because I added hydrogen on here. Okay, let's add something a little bit bigger. A random small moon. Laver. It's gonna crash into there. Yep, it's gonna crash into there. Let's add. Let's add a lot of solid. 25. Let's quickly lower the amount of water. Oh my god. Why is it greenish? I added a little bit of water and now it's greenish. Right. Let's slow down the process. Okay, so it's gonna crash right here at this tiny lake over here. Okay, labor is coming in.
Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, labor is right here. Labor is right here. It's about to crash any moment now. Oh, now it's this lake. It used to be like somewhere over here. So yeah, somewhere up here, but now it's down here at this lake. When is, when is the... Look at the shadow on the moon, look at the shadow. Okay, we're now on labor. Okay, we got, oh my God, that's a lot of lakes. When is it gonna start breaking apart? I think I saw it stretching, like a little bit. And, touchdown. Oh, oh my God. Look at all the water that's landing on the, look at all the water. Oh my God. Okay, it's now flying. All of the fragments are now flying out. Maybe this could create a ring around here. I'm gonna add a ring to this planet later. Did it gain? Oh no, it's losing it. It's literally losing. It's losing lifehood and earth similarity. So all it did was really make a huge mess. Look at the, look at this. Look at this. It used to be 343 and now it's like Well, wait a minute. What's this greenish area? It's being pushed by the water, but it's Is this a shock wave? This thing that's moving up here. Is this a shock wave? Some of the some of the fragments are just s suddenly coming out of the ground. Look at all the water that's been shifted around. Look, look at this. Look at this. What? What's happening? It looks like there's a big amount of. I mean, look at this ring up here. What is happening? It's because there's a little bit of. This is forming an ocean over here. This is forming an ocean. What is happening? I mean, this is a whole ocean now. What's happening on the other side? I can't even see it. Okay, let's wait for the last bombardment to happen. Okay. This is no longer suitable for life, is it? Time Moon does not look like it's... It barely has any life on it. It just gained like... 1%, like 0... 0. 0.00002% of life somehow it's just gaining them i mean after the explosion look it's gaining it's gaining stuff over here what's happening oh this used to be here two two four three and now it's gain it's gaining life somehow how is it gaining life okay let's wait for the dust to clear out Okay, 
this is going to make a moon soon. All right, let's wait for all this to clear out. Look at all the impacts on it. It's made a huge ocean in the middle over here. I just noticed that this area over here, it doesn't get, why is it rotating? Rotating up here. This doesn't get any, this area doesn't get any sunlight. You need to rotate it until we see what that area is. Let's see how it's spinning. Okay, it's now spinning like around this axis. pretend that actually made a moon and made a small moon a small one actually three new moons these are moving at light speed okay so we've got these moons around Okay, so that's this planet. Let's go to the next one. A random gas giant. Right here. This is, so we got a gas giant. I think I really wanna add rings to it, but I know it's not gonna work. Let's add some rings. Add rings. Let's add, let's add Uranus rings on here. This has rings. It doesn't look like much. A moon, a random moon. Jantana. Okay, a little bit above the rings. What is it going to impact on the rings on? I'm gonna give this less gravity, less mass, that is. Okay, this should be enough. We're going to make this habitable because it's orbiting around a gas giant. The gas giant produces heat, it goes to the moon, bam. Right. Now we just need uh, some, some atmosphere mass. Mars mass, 0 0.6. We're in the Hattable zone. Composition, need water. Oh. Okay. Need water. What about now? What about now? got some life on it. Let's go! We made life on it. Alright, 
Now we made a gas joint. Now let's see what it impacts on the rings. Does it impact anything? Oh my god, why is he farting? Ew. Why is he farting? What is he farting? <laughs> Just kidding, he's not farting, but he looks like it's doing something. It looks like he's, it looks like he's, it looks like he's, um, it looks like he's taking out the atmosphere because I, because I added water to it. Oh my god, <laughs> we lost all the life on here. Well, it's possible life can be on here, it's possible. That is, if we add chaos. Maybe, maybe an asteroid will heat it up and life will form. Well, maybe the gas giant will heat it over time. So these are the rings. Okay. Now we just need, now we just need a couple more asteroids to orbit around this area. We just need some asteroids. Radius. Name. Sma Smasher. His name is Smasher. <laughs> what? It's obvious he's a Smasher. Right, let's go. We're almost in. I like that we could. I like that the rings are just doing that. Whatever they're doing. I shot it at J Janta. And get smashed. Okay. Let's just view trails now. Now let's see what happens after a couple of after a couple of months. A lot of the asteroids are just Whoa, what happened? One one oblesque ring particle has just been shot out. Is this a is a blask acting like a gun trying to shoot this? Oh, to be honest, I thought that said sus for a second. But what was a blask doing there? Is he reloading? Yeah, it looks like he's reloading. That was his one of his ring particles. What on earth is happening? To his ring puddles. Well, it's probably because of the moon I added. What did I press? I pressed something, but what did I press? Look at the rings, they're slowly going like this and not this. Let's see, let's see the other planets. How are they doing? Whoa, this is turning too white. How about you? You got you got life? Yeah, you got life. Oops. 
What about Time Moon? What does that look like? Whoa. It looks like there's a lot of rivers and oceans. Especially the one that was like back there. So finally, we know where it's orbiting from. It looks like it's orbiting right here. Is it here? No, it's here. So let's see what's going on with the moons. Let's launch, um, let's launch a small moon right here. I think I'm putting all of the uh, work into Time Moon's heels. I just shot, like, how many asteroids on it? I thought I already placed that asteroid. this one search or that I need to bring you to the files how do I save it save Okay. Now that I save you, save yourself now. Let's go. This gas giant is eating everything. How about we bring a taste of his own medicine? Don't tell me this is another gas giant. It's another gas giant. Oh my! Right, because that was very huge. All right, let's. Okay, let's just wait for a couple of, whoa. It reloaded its gun and it's now shooting particles. It's trying to shoot the, it's trying to shoot the habitable now. I want one of these asteroids to have a moon, so I'm going to inspect, like, let's inspect this one. Yeah, let's add an asteroid around you. We're saying this rock particle is... something smaller okay now we add 
added that. Now we just need some chaos to be here. Yeah, we need to spread it. Let's launch a random asteroid into here. Yep. The brook. You're the guy that's gonna destroy these guys. just suddenly going like and let's crash what this has an atmosphere I didn't know that We did not take the moon, but we take this one. Okay, this is an ally. This is officially annihilated. I have no idea what would have happened to this guy. But Le Burke is now more spherical. Okay, it also gained a new moon because I don't know how, but it just gained a new moon. Wait, is it gonna crash into him? No. <laughs> the brook? What's happened? Why are you completely black? Visuals. What? You've got, you got, you only got this. How are you black? What, how are you black? Okay, we just got a black asteroid. <laughs> we need we need to turn this into something else. This is not meant to be black. Oh, it has too many mess. Let's lower that, please. Wait a minute, we need this guy to gain mass. Let's move this guy's orbit. I don't really like, um, let's move this guy. There we go. Now this guy is completely safe. I don't want this to look black. Replace object with um a random asteroid. Replace. make this bigger so that this guy still orbits this guy right I still need to move this guy's orbit So that this guy got knocked out of its original. Right, now that we now that that's finished, we just need some more stuff happening around here because this this is a gas giant. I just 
just launched uh, an asteroid swarm. A swarm. I just launched an asteroid swarm. Is the missile ready? <laughs> the missile is okay, guys. The missile's ready. All we need. <laughs> It's now, it is now going to hit the gas giant. I did not expect that to do that. Why did I do that? Reset. Let's delete this object. Now we just got a lot of fragments. A random asteroid. Okay. The second missile's ready. Oh, this also, these asteroids are really going through a lot. We're taking him through. <laughs> I didn't expect that th that that would do anything really. Wait a minute. What if I space? Why does it automatically? I don't want this. Why does it automatically switch to Earth? Right? What happened? Random asteroid. What's happening? We just need more dents. has suddenly appeared. Don't, don't try this. I, this is hard to understand. There's a lot of danger in this system. something to happen this is taking a while stuff has happened. Firstly, this planet's rings have disappeared. We just need a lot of asteroids. At this point, I want to really put down the moon swarm. All of these asteroids look the same. 
It looks like an... Oh my god! Okay, I'm just gonna follow one of these asteroids and see what happens. Well... What is happening? Okay, they're ready to strike now. Why am I just doing... Why am I just doing a lot of... Just shooting a lot of asteroids at this particular planet? Oh, we gained a moon. I wonder where that came from. Was that one of the asteroids I shot? Not like went toward the asteroid, like somewhere or like one of these ones. Yeah, I think it was one of those ones. Looks like one of those ones. Let's inspect this. I want to add more mass to this thing, but I don't want to. small moon. Where? Of course, back here. Random small moon. Back there. Or oh, Nansk. Oh, I had this one before. I had this one before. Why that fast? Are you serious? Did you seriously have to do that? Okay, now I launched the moon. How about that? But inside. Did they change? Can they? Did they change the music? until it completes gaining life. It's gaining, how much? It doesn't look like a habitable planet. Actually, no, let's remove the orbits. Let's just do the trails. Any water get transferred? It looks like there's some areas where there's islands.
let's add some let's crash another moon not moons as in asteroids Time moon needs to gain life faster. It's gaining life slowly, not fast though. Life is life is expanding on this planet. That's good. Ah, Resiku. It just looks like a deserted planet. What happened to all of the whiteness? Well, it's over here, but what happened to this area? Why is it? Why is it still green? Ish. What is lifehood? Same. Let's just add city lights. Okay, let's produce random. Okay, this looks good. This looks like a planet that people would live on, right? I mean, all these areas are forests. All these areas are desert. And the orange ones, I can't really spot an orange one, are the ones which are Mediterranean. Resiku looks like a place that is mostly habitable. I don't want to shoot anything on it anymore. However, Typhoon does not gain too much life at a time. So I guess I will just shoot these for days. It's so cool watching the water just transform. Similarity, we're almost at 100%. It's 
gaining Earth similarity very quickly, and life is starting to spread, at least near the coast. Anyway, where it's deserted, no. Whenever it gains Earth similarity, where does it gain the Earth similarity? Just waiting until it gains 100%. It's gaining to 100%. We're almost at 100%. It's almost at 100%. We always made them. Oh, this is the highest it could go. 97. So this is his Earth similarity of 97. There's this big chunk of Greenland here, of Greenland, but then around it surround is desert. There's small patches of desert in here as well. Okay, let's save this so let's save this solar system. It's called the John Sis. Sis. Go ahead. Go go do something. Do anything you want to do. But I highly recommend joining Universe Sandbox. The funny, f the, the, the you know the, the the funniest thing I did in Universe Sandbox was crash the game. Yes, I crashed the game once. Um, I don't remember how I crashed the game. The screen was black. That's all I remember. That's all I remember. So bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.